The title of this video is Spinning Resource Boxes, but basically it could apply to any time you want to spin a small piece of information or you want to make a very, very wide variations on a particular topic. So say you use Scrapebox to blast out thousands and thousands of blog comments and you want to vary the what the content that is placed in each different blog comment or maybe use a forum profile submitter to submit thousands of forum profiles and you want the content to be incredibly spun at a very very high level this video I'm going to show you how to do that and resource boxes is probably the main thing you'll do because I find that involved in the world of SEO lots of there are people that do blog commenting there are people that post forum profiles but almost everybody syndicates articles and posts articles in multiple locations and you needs to use a resource box that would need to be somewhat spun this is the way I do it so you, let's say you have an article and in this example I'm going to use six pack abs and you want to syndicate this article using article marketing robot or maybe you use Unique Article Wizards, a famous blog network where you syndicate articles with a bunch of different resources box. But let's say, f for sake of discussion, that you've already written your article. So you've done the majority of the hard work. You just want to be able to spin paragraphs upon paragraphs upon paragraphs. And you don't really care about the quality so much. You just want them to be unique so that Google indexes all your content. So what I would do in this case is I would go to eZine articles or some article directory or whatnot, anywhere I could find content on the topic that I need a resource box done for. And I would all I would do is I would copy a bunch of paragraphs and paste them in a little notepad or Excel spreadsheet, whichever you prefer. And I would try and get as many paragraphs as I want, but you have to know, um, be careful because every time there's a break, it will count as a new piece of content and you wouldn't want something like follow a good diet and nutrition plan as one of your posted summaries or one of your posted resource boxes because it's just too short so you want like a a paragraph type deal like these are both enough content to be able to pass off as a resource box or a summary box or what have you you definitely can do whatever you want but th this is definitely the way I'd recommend doing it if I wanted to build uh, a resource box of paragraphs. So, I always get rid of the article source <laughs> for uh, eZine articles. <laughs> so here's a few I'm taking. Um, I don't really want to waste your guys' time, so I will stop here, but if I was to do this for myself, I'd probably continue to get more variations and more paragraphs. But so far, this is what it looks like in Notepad. Each one, as you can see, takes its own separate line. It's cons like, if you look, if I took this into the best spinner right now and made, um, spun them together, I would basically have a, it would sort them out, sort them out uh, randomly so this would be one two three four five six seven let's say about twenty paragraphs or something like that and you can randomly pick which paragraph will be used for your resource box so you've you've you're incredibly highly varying. Uh, your your resources boxes, so it's a lot more likely that Google will think that each of the articles is unique. 
So here's how you do it. You, you copy all the paragraphs that are in each individual lines uh, from Notepad, and you paste it into your copy of the Best Spinner, which if you don't have, you it's just a it's a must-have tool for so many reasons, and it makes things so much easier. And the first thing I would do is I would replace everyone's favorites or auto select synonyms. Auto select synonyms would have the quality be a lot worse, but the the variance would be a lot higher. Whereas replace everyone's favorites, it's more selective. It only selects synonyms usually when they would make sense, but it doesn't spin it as much, obviously, so the variance is a bit lower. So it's really completely up to you and whatever whatever um, you would prefer. There we go. And the second step that not everybody knows about, but it's pretty cool, uh, the option to spin selected paragraphs together. So if we click that button and would you like to include a blank paragraph in the spin? I would say no, but this is kind of a cool option if you were creating an article this way, like a highly spun piece of goo or whatever to get your index rate and s submit backlinks or whatever. If you have the blank paragraph, then it just kind of randomizes it more because some, some articles would have more paragraphs than others and it would look more unique to Google. But in this example, we're just doing a resource box with just a small snippet of um, content, so it's not as not something that we'd be interested in this case but um, so now you can see we have this massive massive resource box or spun resource box or summary whichever you want to use it for and if you go into new spin here or if you go spun article here just to see like randomly one copy of of the the spin text that we have there you can see that if you do new spins it's pretty random and if you actually read what's said here they're saying completely different things using completely different words and the amount of words used is completely random and that's basically what you would get in um, in all these variations so if you submit a thousand articles if you syndicate a thousand articles each resource box will be quite unique because of this. Or if you did thousands upon thousands of blog comments, maybe you'd have comment on blogs about six-pack abs and have these little posts and it would seem a bit more believable. Or forum profiles or whatever have you, it just creates a bunch of random, unique content for the sake of the search engines and Google absolutely loves it. I use this for resource boxes, but I also use it for snippets to put on social bookmarking sites, which is also something to think about. But I would typically sort of add at the end a little anchor text thing, like click here now to my website, or my site here, or more info here, or whatever. And I would post it over so it would send a backlink to one of my sites, or one of my pumper sites, buffer sites, and if you want to know more about how I do SEO, then I highly recommend you take a look at my tiered backlinking videos that I've done because that's really the best way to get link juice going and it's basically promoting sites that are heading to your site. But in order to do that, you want to have content that's indexed because a, a, a backlink that's not indexed is not that valuable at all. It's barely worth anything at all. So you want your backlinks to be indexed and the best way to do that is to have unique content but it's hard to have thousands of backlinks and have all the content be unique because then you'd have to purchase thousands of unique content so the way you get around that is you spin your content and this video hopefully um, taught you guys how to massively massively uber spin a small select piece of content for search engines so I hope this helped you guys out and feel free to leave a a comment or a question below and I'll try and get back to you whenever I can. Thanks a lot.